All right, in this um, part of my build videos, um, I don't know too many people who would spend the time to clean up an oil pickup, but this is a Ford part. Um, it had a kind of its own little windage tray or its own uh, suction tray here to create a, an inlet for oil to come in, but most of the aftermarkets are open screen. And so I couldn't get the gunk out of this screen. Uh, I was thinking about trashing it and replacing it, and I'm sitting in the garage me messing around on my Sunday morning or Saturday morning. And I had uh, a bunch of uh, triple lot steel wool laying around. And so I got to polishing this thing up a little bit. And I'm like, you know, this thing's looking pretty good. Uh, it's real smooth, real clean. It's in great shape. Just got the gunk off of it. You know, it's, uh, it's from a 1990 uh, Fox body. So it was, you know, 26 years old. Um, so I got to looking at it. And I'm like, well, I need to clean inside the tube. I can't do that if the screen's in the way. And the flange was, was good, but it was really gunked up. So I threw it in the vise, and it's a simple piece. I didn't want to spend money on, you know, on things. I'm on a budget. It's not like I have my own TV show and I can, you know, get sponsors all day. Um, so I went to cleaning the flange up, polished it up, used a, uh, used a couple, um, couple of things here. I used some uh, degreaser. I had a, a file and some, uh, I think it's triple otter. Uh, quad drip a lot, uh, steel wool, real fine stuff, and then cleaned up that, shined it up, shined up the pipe, the tube. Uh, you can see the weld under there now that all the gunk's off of it. Um, those are just vice marks from the vise that you see on the side there. And then um, I uh, I couldn't get in there and clean that thing well enough. I was about to trash it, and I'm like, you know, what, let me just go ahead and try to punch these these corners out or these edges out. And so I did, and I had a pretty good uh, amount of success with um, with what came out of it. So I, I took a screwdriver, some hammers, and pop pop this out, this edge out, and then uh, tried to bend these little tabs out here. And I pulled the screen out. So I scrubbed the screen, got all the dirt and gunk out of there, cleaned under there, scrubbed that all out with uh, steel, steel wool. I uh, made sure nothing had any metal fleck or anything that would uh, gunk up the engine and, and debris up the engine. And uh, went back around it and then tried to reshape it a little bit and then locked that thing back in there pretty solid about what it was stock. It, didn't, it doesn't move much. So um, just bent these tabs back out with a ball peen, the end of a ball peen. And uh, I was able to save myself, uh, you know, the oil pickup. And the other thing about the oil pickup is with the engine having a, uh, a, uh, a girdle or the uh, cap, main cap girdle on here, I was running into interference here and down here where the bolt would have been with that flange. I'm going to use this bolt hole. So I had to take it off a couple of times, strike it with a rubber mallet, kind of get it to flex and bend. And once you mock it up a couple of times, you'll see. Got a little bit of gasket sealer and then a new gasket on there. And uh, this is a new oil pump from the last video I showed you. Just a real quick update. Um, this oil pump's a lot newer. The uh, it is a a Melling oil pump. I had I went ahead and had to buy a new Melling oil pump, and I didn't want to skimp out on parts, but I had a really good pump, and I thought, well, I'll just use the Melling um, that came with the car because I thought it was a stalker because it had made in the USA. It looks pretty good. But as I got to putting it together, it's very, the, the metal on it is very brittle. And it actually broke the corner off, just doing nothing but turning in threads. So I don't know how old this pump is. It could be, I think the engine was rebuilt years ago before I got it. And so I didn't want to put a used pump with a bunch of problems back in the car. So I spent $30 at you know my local auto parts store and bought this pump. And then again, I did the same thing as the last video. I clearanced around the ARP bolt ever so slightly with an angle grinder. It took like just a couple of minutes, mocked it up and then put it back in. I got a gasket under here. The previous video I didn't use one. I still don't think you need to have one, but since I had one, I went ahead and used it. So if you have a gasket, use it. If you don't, don't worry about it. And then I went ahead and put a little bit of RTV on here, gray RTV. And um, something, one of my little secrets that I'd like to go ahead and talk about a little bit on this since I'm on this occasion. I actually like to use the AT Delco RTV sealant. This stuff's very, very thick. 
very um, sticky, much better than um, any other th off the shelf stuff. And I used this to build, I had a large tube of it in a uh, caulking gun and I built an engine with that stuff and I was sold on ever using anything else. as a GM product, but uh, I know I'm building a Ford, but when I built my last motor, um, I used that stuff and it was just uh, leaps and bounds better than any other stuff I've used. So I'm mocking this tube up. Save yourself a little money. Use your tube, just take the time to you know steel wool it, clean it up. Shoot it off with air. Make sure you're using air and cleaning all that gunk off. Uh, I washed it and scrubbed it with hot water and got all the water off by shooting it with air. I made sure my oil pickup was real clean. I'm not going to pick up any debris in this, this pickup. And it's still going to work great for my, my application. So I'm sitting this in here. And you can see what I did. It actually sits in there by itself. It's going to make a liar to me as soon as I let go of it. Um, I, had, I bolted it up. I bent this degree back just uh, just a couple of degrees this direction from straight to this way. That would line my bolt up here once I get it all bolted in. And then here where I had the problem where the other pump broke, the bolt was cross-threading. So what I needed to do was bend this oil pickup tube this direction. So I put this in my vise and bent the tube up. So just a little bit of bending. The tube's very thin and then it's uh, soldered, I believe, on this side. And then... Um, you can tell by the solder because when they use it, it's bronzed and it's not quite um, welded on there. So that's how I mocked it up. I'm going to bolt this up and line my bolts up here and screw it to the uh, to the um, to the Moroso girdle and um, take some clay, set it right here just to see um, where I, where I'm. Uh, where I'm at it in conjunction to my oil pan and make sure that my pickup's nice and low but also not so low that it's not going to suck up any oil. I want it to be just you know just an inch or so high and uh, that is how you can bend and reuse and save some money on a oil pickup tube. Thanks for watching.